six million Jews were annihilated in the Nazis' so-called final solution, gassed, shot, and starved. There is quite simply no denying it. Yet on Facebook, the world's biggest platform, many insist the Holocaust never happened. Holocaust survivors have lost everything. Their families were killed, their communities were destroyed. Don't take away their history also. We met Greg Schneider at Auschwitz earlier this year before the pandemic. His organization, The Claims Conference, wants Facebook to face the facts. We want Facebook to remove Holocaust denial, to acknowledge what the United Nations has acknowledged, that Holocaust denial is hate speech. To that end, every day, The Claims Conference is posting on Facebook the stories of living Holocaust survivors. Among them, Eva Schloss, Stephanie Seltzer, and Sidney Zoltak. From my community of 7,000 Jews, only 1% survived. None of my friends nor my classmates survived. I'm the only one. Out of 7,000? Out of 7,000. So, Stephanie, of the people in your immediate family, how many survived? One cousin, my mother, myself, and my father's one brother. Is it possible to say what it's like as a young person to realize most of your family is gone. It's very, very hard, you know. Whenever there's any gathering of any kind, my children have no one to bring. Eva Schloss remembers when the Nazis took over Holland, the Gestapo came for the Jewish young people. They came with lorries and went to the schools and said to the kids, go on the truck and the Parents waited in the evening for the children to come home, and they didn't turn up. Her family was sent to Auschwitz. My mother and me survived, but my father and brother didn't. You know this story because you lived this story. What yeah. would you tell Mark Zuckerberg? Everybody in the world knows what has happened. The camps were there, the guest chambers were there, the Nazis took thousands of pictures that are proud of what they were doing. My family was murdered. People need to know the truth. A lot of young people go on Facebook and this is what they're learning about real history. I would plead to his conscience as a human being, help us. That's right, as long as we are still witness, we can object to this. But once we are not around anymore, Perhaps there will be more Holocaust than I going on. If you are permitting this denial in a way, I hate to say it that strongly, but in a way you are a collaborator. Well, they're liars, just pure liars. So this campaign has gone on for 12 days now, 12 different survivors giving their testimony on Facebook. There has been no real response from Mark Zuckerberg or from Facebook other than they sent us a note. They say we take down any post that celebrates or defends or attempts to justify the Holocaust. The same goes for any content that mocks Holocaust victims, accuses victims of lying about the atrocities, spews, hates, or advocates for violence against Jewish people in any way. That's their standing uh, policy. That's not actually a response to what's going on right here. The fact is, though, in countries like Germany and Austria, where Holocaust denial is illegal, then they take it down. So it's quite interesting. And thus far, there's been no real response, especially from Mark Zuckerberg. And what's interesting to me, just as a quick ad, it was Prince Harry, right, who you were talking about just a little while ago, who posted, wrote the piece in Fast Company talking about supporting online platforms that have contributed, stoked, created conditions for a crisis of hate, a crisis of health, a crisis of uh, truth. This is... Um, this is this, something needs to be done. Wow, Harry, thank it's you. so important to hear their stories. Mm. Thank you. No question. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, something comes of this. Yeah, for sure.